all my Tarians. Welcome back or welcome to my channel, The Creative Woman. And today I am going to do a, a cards for you, Taurus, and what you need to know right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So what I did is off camera I picked a sacred geometry card for you. It's an activation card and this will be the main theme having to do with what you need to know right now. And this is number 37 and it's called Realization. And I'm going to, since it is, it's an activation card. So you look at that card. As long as you want to or need to work subconsciously. You don't have to know anything consciously. And you can stop the video if you need to. Okay. And what it says is the frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. How, how wonderful is that? So, let me pull out, we will put, I'm gonna pull some tarot cards and let's see what ex will expand on this realization card. And I did get something right away. So what you Taurians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, are working on right now is becoming your highest um, version of yourself. And um, also awa being awakened to truths, higher truths, so new information um, about your own selves, about your what you're observing in the world, what you are observing in your surroundings with your own internal self, and gaining wisdom is what I just heard too. So that's really beautiful. And I also was pulled to the number 37. So it uh, that adds up to a 10 in numerology, one. And so one means you're working on yourself. And then also the number 10, for some of you, you could be completing a cycle as well. So, so all of that is really, really beautiful and wonderful. Okay, so let me just clear my cards and let's go for Taurus. What tarot cards want to come out and tell Taurus what they need to know right now? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, Taurus right now. Okay. Okay, let's see, Taurus. Okay, the Page of Cups. Page of Cups came out for Aries as well. Okay. Oh, what I heard was you're facing yourself. Okay, you're facing yourself. Awakening to yourself, your true self, and who you truly are. And so you are letting go of those things that um, aren't working for you anymore because they're not in your best interest. They're not who you truly are. And so they're actually stopping you from being you and your soul mission and your true purpose in this life. And so you're letting go of all of those people and things and habits, beliefs too, okay? So that you can go further on your journey, okay? 
And again, just like Aries, I'm also getting, listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Spend time with yourself in, in a peaceful surroundings, whether it's out in nature, whether it is just off in your, in a room by yourself where you won't get interrupted and just see what happens. Okay. Okay. So let's see what else for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. What do they need to know right now? What does Taurus need to know right now? Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. What does Taurus need to know right now? Expanding on this realization, activation, sacred geometry card. Taurus, okay. Let's just see what else comes up. The moon, okay. What I first thought of was this next full moon coming up. It's going to be in Pisces on, I believe, September 2nd in the U.S. So that might be significant for some of you Taurus people. And then the second thing is, is the new moon that just happened on the 18th of August here and that was in Leo. So, and in fact, this number is 18 of this card and it was the 18th uh, on this new moon in Leo just a couple days ago. So also, so that's right now, that's right now. So see what happens, what uh, things come to you, what messages come to you, what um, inspirations come to you and again about the the letting go of certain things and even um, starting up new things that do that is in your best interest and I'm hearing new relationships for some of you can be coming in new friendships releasing old relationships and, and those that aren't in your best interest anymore, also for some. So that allows for new energies, new relationships to come in that suit you now, that are on your same level that you are at right now or working towards. That's beautiful. Okay. And I'm hearing kind separations. Kind. Because it never does any good for any of us. It's sure you all know to end something and be angry or blaming or anything that keeps you stuck in that and you will just circle right back around into another relationship so that is the same thing even if it doesn't feel that way so maybe someone needed to hear that okay so sun moon rising taurus what do they need to know venus sign Sun and rising, what does Taurus need to know right now? What do they need to realize? What are new what new realizations are they can they look out for? What new information? Let's see. What else for Taurus? The Knight of Wands. So I'm hearing someone's coming in with a message, with information, coming in quickly. Someone new, I'm also hearing someone new. Um, new, new information for uh, a new path for you, um, a new beginning. It, it could come in by email, by video someone maybe that's maybe you're going to start making videos maybe that's something new uh, let's see okay i'm not getting anything else let's see what else comes up here oh i just heard your knight in shining armor that's for somebody your knight in shining armor is coming 
to your rescue is what I heard. Oh, my sweet. How oh, sweet. Oh, and you might have been waiting a long time for that. Coming into your life. That's definitely a new beginning. You might have kids, is what I heard. He or she, actually. This is a male or female. Oh, okay, we got two. Male or female. I, I, I saw um, two families coming together, actually, with both with children. And you two are joining two different families. And you're going to have a bunch of wonderful adventures together. And then I just heard soul family. That could be significant for someone. Okay, so when the third, fourth card out is the five of wands, and then we have the queen of pentacles. So the five of wands, again, it might be a little um, unsure at first, a little chaotic at first, it looks like. That's what I'm getting. Um, but it will all be ironed out. You will iron it out. So if you're having any questions about anything or unsure or a little confusion or, or um, it's just kind of chaotic around what, you're, what this is, this new beginning or whatever's coming in or I'm still seeing with this family that you know, bringing two families together. It'll take a little little while to calm down and get things um, all running smoothly and, and balanced, but it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. And there's always uncertainty in things when you're starting new ventures or you're having new ideas or you're, you are going on a new path, Taurus. Of course, that's also, it's going to be, you know, natural. It's normal. But you're not going to let that cloud or stop you from moving forward. And you'll be moving to, into the queen, the queen of Pentacles energy. Look at her. She's very peaceful. She's out in nature. She's calm. Uh, she's just enjoying the peace and quiet and, and harmony that, um, that her surroundings bring. And there are animals. And it's a physical. It's a physical. You're manifesting something in the physical. It's going to bring you a lot of joy and a lot of peace. Is what I'm seeing and um, in fact it could be coming to fruition also there could be something coming to fruition maybe that's where I was seeing the end ending of a cycle so something's coming to fruition for some of you Tarans Tarians and now you're going to see the physical manifestation of what you have been working so hard on and here again you know this frequency realization um, that's talking about that becoming our higher expression in this world and having heart centered truth finding our heart centered truth so to me that is definitely talking about you becoming the highest best version of you um, stepping into your soul mission um, assisting and healing the planet especially now in this Aquarian age that's, that's beautiful that's beautiful yet yeah, you're also some of you stepping into a time of joy you either are beginning right now or you are going to and I saw the number three so I don't know, that could be significant to some of you. Three days, three weeks, um, three months, within three months, possibly. Okay. Okay, what else? 
do my Taurians need to know right now? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. What else can, can you tell all those Taurians out there? Okay, well, we've got two, so I'm going to go ahead and take those. And I just heard, too, you're stepping into a time of bliss. Bliss. Okay, yes, okay, so the Eight of Cups, you are... And here's a moon, and it's the the night sky to me is, and, and everything is quiet, and he. I just I just see. Quiet contemplation, quiet contemplation, or. If you're not, if you're, if, your surroundings are chaotic, then. Then it is very necessary for you Tarians to get into a place. And of course, you love nature, nature and animals, and those that harmonious and peaceful. That's natural for you. So, um, go and make sure that you spend time with yourself in peace, because there is this Eight of Cups is saying that's that's how you're going to find solutions, and um, when you become centered and and that. That's how you balance. You're, you're balancing yourself so you become peaceful inside. So then um, you can listen to what you you will get. You will get messages from your higher self, the universe, however you want to see that. Yeah, it will come. It will come. And you will know which, if you're still not knowing what direction to go, uh, what what new path that you want to take, yes, you will find it. You will find it in your quiet time, meditating. Some of you might want to meditate. Yeah, because you are, again, here's the Ten of Pentacles. Um, that's completion, that's fruition, that is, uh, you have everything you need. You're stepping into everything you need and want, and life is joyful, and prosperous and so that's either what's waiting for you on the horizon with these new beginnings or um, you could be stepping into it right now but it feels like to me that this is something that you're working towards and all of you are you know going to be a little bit different along um, different um, what do I want to say? The words it's coming in fast. Um, you're on different parts of your, you know, some are closer, some are a little bit farther from this, but you're all headed to this completion, to this wonderful, peaceful uh, bliss. Bliss. Yes. Life will be grand, I heard. Yes. So keep going. Keep going. And... Beautiful. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, and, and I just also heard too that some of you are are just now realizing or have just realized that um, where you, what's best for you, what's best for you, and what brings out your. I'm hearing a bright light, your shining light, your um, best version of yourself, best version of yourself. And again, I'm hearing take time out for you, take time out for you. So that's for somebody, if you're working too hard, you're um, taking care of others and putting others first, uh, take some time out for yourself to be able to realize your goals. Okay, yeah, and the Fool, because it started to come out, I'm gonna just, yeah, that's new beginning. Again, the Fool. So, you're on a new adventure. You are um, ready 
to start giving yourself what you need and what's best for you. And, and when you do that, that's what's best for everybody else around you too, because if you can't be yourself, yeah, that's, that's neat. And you will also help others to become the best versions of themselves as well. There you go. Okay, is there anything else? For Taurus, whoa, okay, there's something else. Queen of Wands, okay. That, you've got two queens. So you, okay, Queen of Wands. For some of you, this is, is happening in this month of August, um, after or around right now, this new moon in Leo that started on the 18th. So, and the, the new moon is not, it doesn't just start at one day. So it, you could have started these realizations um, or, or knowing that you need to, and starting to spend more time and, and, and do what you need for yourself to re-energize yourself, that could have started even last week. It could be last week all the way, you know, now. Um, it, any, any time. And even, you know, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you are looking at it, it that could be what's happening for you now. Because we're all different. So... Okay, and then I'm drawn to the the sunflower and it's in full bloom so you will fully blossom into who you are meant to be which will assist and help the healing of humanity you are a queen I heard you are the queen self-assured, um, peaceful within yourself, happy, gentle, compassionate, knowing what makes you happy. While at the same time, being kind and able to assist others around you also. That also makes you happy. So some of you could be finding a balance between that, between um, assisting others, being of service to others, and making yourself happy. So yes, knowing when to, when your, your batteries are running down and when to go and recharge your batteries so that then you can go back out and be of service what you love doing. I heard again, you are a queen. You are beautiful. Let that shine. I also heard this could be for someone let that be okay. So maybe some, someone knows if that's for you, you know what that means. I would be very interested in hearing if, if that rings true for somebody. Love to hear that in the comments. Okay, well, Taurus, that's all I have for you right now. I hope you can take away something from this. It is a general reading, so if if, if this one isn't right for you, please look up my other readings. I am going to be putting them out in the next week, uh, one or two a day. And um, yeah, you can look at your sun, moon, or rising sign, or your Venus sign too. Look at all of those. Okay, and have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.